Hey Libra, it's Celia with Celia's Tarot. I'm doing just short little love energy reads right now. <clears throat> I was doing a few personal readings, so I said, hey, why not? Let me do a few of these uh, love energy spread readings and timeless ones. So it's mainly for single, but it could be for whoever resonates. If you're coupled or married, this could be for anyone. It's a general reading general love energy read for those who stumble upon my video uh, remember it's a general reading and i do have personal readings available for twenty dollars on every uh, social media platform so let's see what's up with libra libra think about your person think about the person that's in your heart and soul the person that just uh, makes, makes you, um, oh my God, I just heard the word, uh, the two words, white knuckling. <laughs> That's hilarious. The person that makes you white knuckle. I don't know why I thought of that right now. So yeah, let's see who is, um, what's going on with your person? Let's get an idea what's going on. It's a general read, remember, oh my God, white knuckling. Who are you white knuckling this weekend? My Libras. All right, so then this is how we do it. This is the your energy for the following two to three weeks. This is their energy for the following two to three weeks. This is what the universe and spirit guides have in store about in regards to this connection. And then up here, we just have the um, potential outcome, the potential outcome about this connection, Libra. Please think about your person. So we can get the energies flowing, the juice energies flowing, yeah. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is up with Libra and their person? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. Whoever resonates, please remember to give a thumbs up. And even if you don't, please watch and give a thumbs up and share and like and subscribe. And that would be awesome. I really appreciate you. Libra, my 15 year old is a Libra. All right, so this is your card, Libra. The energy, um, your love energy in regards to this connection for the following two to three weeks, give or take. Remember, time is irrelevant in the spirit world, so they do not know, they are not aware what 2, 3, 4 p.m. or next week is. Excuse me while I kick my cat's ass. I'm old. <laughs> okay, Libra. Sorry for leaving you right quick. Hmm. The bottom of the deck. Three of Swords. What is going on in this connection? The Three of Swords. And this card says deception, frustration, jealousy, a broken heart. Okay, so, hmm. I'm sorry. I mean, Libra. Does this resonate with you, whoever's watching? I'm so sorry if it does. And this seems like you are walking away. You're rowing away from something. Boat or over water travel, turning boat out of troubled waters into calmer waters. So this is all air energy. This is literally Libra energy. That's Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, however the hell you want to say it this one too so it's a lot of logical thinking seems like something has been on your mind libra something has broken your heart someone has broken your heart deception disaster so sorry to hear but the other one the one behind it um the six of swords is basically you're logically just dipping you're leaving you're like done with it so good for you good for you because you don't deserve bs from anybody so then okay libra so the following the next two to three weeks give or take remember there's no such thing as time it's irrelevant in the spirit world so manifest as you will 
Okay, Libra, the moon card. So the moon card, it says, deception or delays, emotions up or down. Maybe deceiving yourself emotionally or others. So it looks like you have been for a while with that mask on, Libra, pretending that things are all good and they're really not. <clears throat> this is that card. And this is how I know Libras. Because you can put on that facade that everything is doing so, so well, but deep down inside, you know it's not and you're unhappy. But you're making this facade, uh, you're building, uh, creating this facade so that everybody else thinks that you're doing wonderfully and that everything is prim and proper, Krispy Kreme, mm, donut. Uh, but it's not, but it's not. It's pretty much a stale donut and you're in a codependent BS relationship, maybe. <laughs> um, and there are things that are bogging you down. Maybe there have been ulterior motives uh, from the other person or in your own life, right? So this is the energy that you're holding at the moment. And I really hope it goes away because this is not a nice card when it comes to it being alone like this in a love energy spread because you feel the deception, right? Your emotions are up or down up and or down uh somebody the somebody may be deceiving you or yourself you're deceiving yourself emotionally or others you see you're bsing you don't want to be in that energy do you you have to let go of the situation that's making you feel like that right so then your person the one that you're thinking about whoever's in your life or whoever you're, you're you know talking to etc maybe there are secrets that they have maybe that's why you're feeling this way you're very intuitive also Libra, extremely intuitive and spiritual. So why are you letting somebody else BS you? Or if anybody's coming in with BS, you gotta stop it right away. Your person, let's see what their energy is. Um, their energy is the lovers. So apparently, love affair, I knew that would come up. I fucking knew it, Libra. The word affair, it makes sense, right? Because they're mainly, they're basically in love with someone else. Love affairs, romance building, again, with marriage, relationship, relatives, loving relationship you could share with a friend. Of course, it's like a soulmate connection that they may have with a friend, but I don't feel it's with you. So because this card is kind of like, there's ulterior motives, there's, there's kind of like a deception within your own heart. It's this person that how could they have the same connection, the same feeling towards you? You get it? But they have that feeling around them of love, of a connection. Um, and they have the a loving relationship with someone. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what the spirit guides in the universe have to say about this, what they're doing about this connection. The Page of Swords, uh-huh, they're finding out information and trying to clear things up and they're, <laughs> this is a stalking card, right? But this is initially finding out information about what is going on. Uh, spying or deception, reflecting back over your shoulder. Yeah, so you're, you're like, they're checking left and right, your spirit guides, both of your spirit guides, they're checking for the deception, for everything that's going on, you see? It's something that's not too positive in the aspect of, oh yeah, we're trying to um, get these two people together and unite them. No, this is kind of like, they're checking to see what is going on and how they can clear out these energies because there's something uh, hot and heavy in the aspect of deception. You see that word is coming up. Deception came up over here, you see. I'm not lying, look at the word deception, you see? And then look at the word, the word affair that comes out. There are things that are so clear and they come out on these cards. And then the word deception here, spying or deception. Well, it says young woman to 25 years, but I don't even pay attention to that because it could be anybody. But here it says spying or deception. So all of these things that are coming out here, let's see what happens in the potential outcome give or take two to three weeks my babies 
The Nine of Wands. What the fuck? This one has come out a lot, even on personal readings today. So the Nine of Wands, it's always the guy looking back at what he's done, what he's accomplished, etc. Holding on to one of the wands and thinking, shit, I've done this much, I've gone this far. So it's a literal, it's a literal, not right now, but it says undecided. It's literally what this reading is all about. I'm undecided. So undecided, need to take a step out of the situation. Then you will see more clearly. That's redundant. So the nine of wands, yes, you need to step out of this situation right now because there's no outcome at the current moment. No potential outcome whatsoever, Libra. You need to step away from the situation, concentrate on something else, uh, kind of um, distract yourself with other things, maybe a hobby, maybe, I don't know, journaling or, wow, watching YouTube videos, subscribing to my channel. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, things like that, Libra. So, but right now it's a no, Libra. It's a no, distract yourself from this connection um, or potential connection, whatever the heck it is, whatever resonates with you right now, Libra, because it's not happening. It's not going anywhere right, right now. So yeah, Libra, I love you and uh, keep in touch and please like, share, subscribe. <clears throat> Hit that little, that little button, the, what's it called? The like button so that the videos can circulate, the, uh, the algorithm, can something happen there? So I have $20 readings. If you need a personal reading, go ahead and reach out to me through my email. It's in the description box below. And if you donate, that would be awesome also. Um, I do it through PayPal or uh, also through uh, PayPal or Cash App. So yeah, donations are welcome, always welcome. And uh, $20 readings across the board. And I love you, Libra. Uh, stay safe, peace out, and don't take shit from anyone. Bye.